actually think that Yoru's flashes are really strong, and I wanted to tell you guys why. Uh, so Yoru can abuse the skybox, which other characters can't. His flash doesn't pop until it actually touches the wall, so they can't see the flash going up to the wall, only after it uh, bounces off. So Yoru can throw these really high flashes, uh, which if you look from the enemy's perspective, they can't even see pop if they're trying to hold an angle. Uh, because it pops outside of their FOV. Uh, and if the flash is close to them, then they get an audio cue, but sometimes they don't even get that. Uh, so say you're you know, trying to retake B, uh, you throw a flash off this clock tower, the Emmy that's holding market is going to get flash with no audio or visual cue because it's completely off their FOV. Same thing with CT. Uh, so Yoru is a character that kind of stands in this like kind of pop flash area where he's going to be throwing these like from downtown pop flashes uh, and then he's going to be able to peek off them right after they flash or he can coordinate with his team uh, to flash into an area off of his pretty quick pretty fast flashes now. So that's why I think the future Yoru flashes are. Yeah.